Hi folks, this is Roman with Linton, and I just wanted to show you the power of the payment link. So we're going to go over here and walk through the creation of a payment link up until we um, want to stop. I'm not going to create a payment link in our portal for real, um, but you can go ahead and add a line item. I'm going to create a custom line item. So you can say, uh, let's just say consulting service. And we're going to say, we're going to charge $100 for this. And we're going to have a billing frequency of one time. And we're going to save that. We're going to click next here. And we'll have a link name of consulting service. We can then select the pipeline. In this case, we'll just say it's sales and closed one. We can add checkout information for the customers. Um, we can ask to collect their uh, contact info from email as required or uh, any additional properties, first name, last name, job title potentially. And then we can determine the accepted forms of payment. We have the option to collect uh, billing addresses and shipping addresses. And we have the option to show a standard page with order details or redirect to a different page. I'm gonna hit next. And then you'll have the ability to preview what the customers will see. Now, this is a very simple one for purposes of this video. And then you have consulting services. You have your logo up here, which you can um, create in the payment uh, setup configuration. And then you have the payment information here that you have available to you. And then you can go ahead and create that. Uh, I'm not going to uh, go ahead and create that. I'm just going to click back and I am going to um, try to move this um, camera link and I'm not going to go ahead and create that. Uh, but instead, let's imagine that we actually created the uh, payment link. And we want to have a meeting with a payment link. So I'm going to go over here and, and click on meetings. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have a number of different meeting links that I have created. And I have a paid meeting link, but we're going to go ahead and create a paid meeting link or start the creation of a paid meeting link from scratch. So what you're going to do is if you want to do this for yourself, you can create a one on one paid meeting link. Um, you can have this as a consulting service link. And you can have the event title consulting. So consulting service or and we'll just say company name. You can insert contact tokens or company tokens. You can add a video conference link if you have Zoom um, integrated uh, or other, uh, other video tools integrated. And then you would add a description and then you would finally choose the meeting type. And all you would need to do is choose uh, paid HubSpot training which is something that you would set up and connect the payment link to. And then you would hit next. And then you can go through the scheduling criteria, however you want it to be scheduled, then click next again. And you'll determine if you want a confirmation email, which I would recommend, and also a pre-meeting reminder, which I would recommend at least an hour before. Uh, and then you can create the scheduling page. So that's the power of 
being able to create payment links and then embed them into meeting links so you can get paid a hundred dollars two hundred fifty dollars for an hour of your time and generate that revenue really quickly without the need to invoice without the need to uh, do any other activities around collecting um, that revenue so i hope that helps um, any questions please visit us at lintonweb.com thank you